Okay, in this lesson we're going to talk about slash chords. Um, slash chords are really cool for guitar players. Um, they're very easy to understand. It's not rocket science, but it can be a little bit confusing. Um, you'll see chords with names like C slash G or C slash E. And, you know, a lot of people, uh, they'll look at that and they won't know what the heck it is. I mean, you know, which chord am I playing, you know? You know, what is it? Well, basically, all it is is a moving bass note. And, uh, you know, when we're playing the C chord, you know, the, maybe the music's changing uh, and there's a huge emphasis emphasis on E. We, well, we can play a C chord with an E in the root. Or an F in the root. Or a G. Notice how the bass line moves. Um, so let's break this down for you. So, for example, a C slash E chord in figure one would be a C chord with the E as the bottom note. Now, it's not necessarily the root, and it's kind of bad for me to say that, but it kind of, the C is still the root of the chord, but we're shifting the bass to which would be the lowest string we're switching it to E. So it would look like you can still play that C note there too but the bottom note is that E, open E string. So that would be a C slash E. The E's at the bottom. The regular C would be just C root at the bottom. A C slash E, we'd add that E at the bottom. Okay, a C slash G could look something like this. See, I'm hitting that G string, or not the G string, but the G on the low E. And uh, I'm not playing this A string, um, but I'm hitting the rest of the C chord right here. Or we could play it like it is in the second measure. We, we fret the uh, C chord as usual. We could use our pinky or switch our fingers, fingers there and play that C slash G like this. Um, that was figure two. Figure three, here's a, another version of the C slash E. We're just playing the top four strings. Just like a C chord, except the E is in our bottom played note. All right, how about f figure four? Well, that's where we come into a problem. A, as we previously learned, is the relative minor of C. So when we drop down and try to play a C slash A chord, we end up with a A minor chord. It's A minor seven to be exact, but there's no uh, way of getting around it. It's going to sound like a minor chord, especially in a key of C. Alright, figure five, we have a, a C slash F chord. I use my thumb. Uh, you can use, you change your fingerings up it's kind of weird. Uh, I like to use my thumb for something like this because I can and I don't have to change my finger in there and it's just nice to have another finger to play around. You know you can um, that was an, a C slash F chord. All we're doing is adding the F at the bottom. C chord with an F. Alright, in figure six we have the C slash B chord, which the B's right there, so this is kind of a weird sounding chord. It is the seventh scale step, so it's wanting wants to lead right up to that C.
slash B. That one you might not see much of, but you might want to try to include it in one of your own songs. Um, figure 7 is a C slash D chord. We're just going to use our D string as our bottom note. But as you can see, it really lends a different uh, vibe to a song if you employ these. Um, you know, like I was showing you before. Great songwriting uh, tech, uh, t uh, tool to use, and you know, a lot of a lot of songs that you go online and and you. you print out a chord sheet, a lot of the songs will have these in them and a lot of people will miss them. Um, but for a lot of songs, and if you ever try to play a song that was written on the piano, you're going to have stuff like this all the time. Because, you know, it's boring just, just to strum a C. Why not add some, if the song calls for it. a lot more flavor and depth. And that's all for today.